guys, it's Sarah, and today I want to talk about audiobook narrators. I listen to a lot of audiobooks. That helps me in some of my reading. It helps me get through some books that I'm having trouble with. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, but to me, they are very entertaining, and it's something that I like to do when I'm doing mundane things like cleaning or doing laundry or cooking or driving. Um, I'm usually listening to an audiobook. It just kind of helps keep me entertained. It keeps me going. And when I find a really good audiobook and a really good narrator, it helps me to do things just so that I can listen <laughs> to the books. So that's a lot of fun. And I just enjoy that medium of uh, media there. So I wanted to share who some of my favorite audiobook narrators are and some of the books that they have narrated. The first one I want to talk about is Ray Porter. He is a recent listen for me. I just listened to my first book narrated by him and it was Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, my favorite book of the year so far. <laughs> and uh, I just recently talked about this one, so I won't go into detail, but this is an adult science fiction novel about a man who is on a mission to um, help save humanity because the sun is dying. And he ends up waking up on the spaceship and he doesn't have any recollection of who he is, where he is, what is going on. Um, and so you follow his journey, figuring out <laughs> all those questions and seeing how he's going to survive being in space um, and what is actually going on with, you know, his mission and stuff. And the narration for this was so incredible. It just, it had me laughing just the way that he read the dialogue definitely in this book was so great. And it just, it gave, it really made the story come to life for me. And I just, I couldn't get enough. I just, I laughed my way through this book because the humor by Andy Weir is definitely on point, but the way that Ray Porter read it just made it that much better. Um, and just the inflections he used and the way, you know, like if it was capitalized, he really like yelled it and like, it was just so great. So um, it was a fantastic audiobook. One book that he narrates that I really wanna read is The Day the World Came to Town by Jim DeFeed. And this is a nonfiction book that uh, surrounds the small town in Canada where on 9-11, a lot of planes were rerouted to because they were trying to get all the planes grounded. <laughs> on 9-11, obviously. And so a lot of planes got kind of rerouted to land in Canada in this one small town. So a lot of planes were coming into this small, small town. And um, I've heard really great things about this book. It's been on my list to read for a while, especially because I want to read more books that surround 9-11. And uh, now that I know that he narrates it, now I want to listen to it. So I'm excited for that one. And an upcoming book that he reads is Cake and the Damned. This is by Jonathan Mayberry. I have an arc of this book. It comes out in May. And I'm wondering if I'm going to listen to it <laughs> because I was going to read it physically probably in April. But now that I know that he does the audiobook narration, I think I want to listen to it now. And the only reason I'm hesitating on that is because I don't usually enjoy fantasy books on audio because I tend to miss a lot of details. Um, that's just been a trend that I've seen over the years with trying to listen to fantasy on audiobook. I just, I don't get as much out of it as if I'm physically reading it. Um, but I might try it. I might give this one a try to see if I can listen to it and still retain everything. Um, just because I love his narration so much and he just, he does such a great job. So uh, I might give that one a try on audio. And then if it's not working for me, just because it's fantasy, I can always stop, <laughs> which is fine. Um, but I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to give that one a try. Okay, the next one is Julia Whalen. Okay, she's a very popular <laughs> audiobook narrator because she narrates a lot of popular books. So I can give you some big examples of books that she has narrated. Um, let's start with authors. She narrates Taylor Jenkins Reid books. She narrates Emily Henry's books and she narrates Kristen Hanna's books. Those are big names. <laughs> uh, so she narrates those and she does a great job. I, the last one that I listened to by her was The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna and it was fantastic. Some other popular books that she has narrated, um, is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. 
Educated by Tara Westover, which I listened to, which was great. And she also narrated The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab, which I did not listen to, but I can imagine she did a great job. Uh, so she she's a big one. She's a big one in the audiobook narrator career field. Um, and yeah, she's just fantastic. I, I love her narration because she really gives her characters voices and she really puts those feelings into the words as she's reading them and you just feel along with her. Um, if a character is crying, you can tell that she, you know, she quivers her voice and just, uh, she's good. The next one I have is another one who reads some pretty popular books and that is January Lavoy. She has read a lot. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you some of the bigger books, definitely. Um, one of them is Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier, which is on my list to read. And another one is The Diviners by Libba Bragg, which is also on my list to read. And I think that one I do want to listen to because I've heard there's a really cool audiobook element to that book that would help me. I think it's like a musical thing um, that kind of just gives it a little extra spunk. So I, that's definitely one that I want to listen to. Also narrated Salvage the Bones by Jasmine Ward, which is another book I would like to read. That one surrounds um, Hurricane Katrina. And then uh, one that I did listen to is The Night Swim. And this is by Megan Golden. And this one follows like a podcaster, which is cool. Um, and I did listen to that one and it was a really good audiobook. Okay, let's talk about Jim Dale. Jim Dale, you guys, oh, he's so good. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you two <laughs> because these are two that I have listened to by him. They're the only two I've listened to by him. He does narrate more, but um, the Harry Potter audiobooks, you guys, phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, on my last reread, I listened to all of them and he's just so good. He is so good. Uh, and then he also narrated The Night Circus and... When I originally read The Night Circus, I read it physically. And then when I reread it, I listened to it and phenomenal again. Um, just the cadence of his voice is really good. And he changes his voice for the characters, which is great. And he's just so entertaining. Okay. And the last one I want to talk about is Bonnie Turpin. This is another pretty popular um, audiobook narrator. She narrates some big ones. Um, one that I listened to was I listened to Angie Thomas's book, um, she has narrated all of Angie Thomas's books, but the one that I listened to was On the Come Up. And um, I really enjoyed that, especially because there were some <laughs> raps included in that book, you know, like musical songs that are raps. And I would not be able to do that. <laughs> and she did a great job. So I was very happy listening to her. Um, but I did, I did really like her voice. It was almost soothing. Her voice has like a soothing um, cadence to it and just... It was just a really enjoyable read. Um, but she does also narrate like The Hate You Give and Concrete Rose and all that too. A couple of other books that she has narrated is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi and the follow-up as well, which I have not read and maybe I might give a listen to. Again, it's a fantasy book, <laughs> so we'll see. But I think maybe that one I could I could give a listen to and see what I think, you know, at least try it out on audio. Um, I have heard from some of you guys that it was a really good audio book, so like, Maybe I could give it a try um, and see if I can enjoy a fantasy book on audio. I, again, I have a hard time with it, but I want to give it another shot. So I think that would be a good one to do. She has also narrated The Southern Book Club Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix and A Spark of Light by Jodi Bacot, which I would I would love to listen to her read that one. And a more recent one that just came out actually is Like a Sister by Kelly Garrett. She narrates that one as well. And that's like a mystery, I think it is, I want to say. I've heard, I've heard about that one. Um, but yeah, that one just came out and she narrates that. So if that was one you were looking at and you like audiobooks, maybe you could listen to it and give Bonnie Turpin a try if you haven't yet, but she's fantastic. Okay, guys, those are some of my favorite audiobook narrators. A lot of times if I hear that one of these people has narrated a book, I'm going to look at listening to it <laughs> instead of reading it. Like I would rather have the experience of listening to them read the book than to read it with my own eyes. And I think that really is a testament to how good of a narrator they are because they just, it kicks it up a notch for me. So let me know some of your favorites down below. Are any of these people your favorites? Do you listen to audiobooks? Let me know that too. And um, if you haven't listened to any of these, are you interested now in giving some of these a try based on the books that they read? I think that's really interesting. So I'd love to know all your thoughts down below. And I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.